Welcome back, guys. Everything is awesome in the village. Well, with the exception of um, like being diseased. Other than that, everything's fantastic. I mean, we've just we've just gone into spring. I've just been reassigning the farmers and getting them in the right houses and stuff like that. So, for example, I've got um, I've got one guy on working on the orchard, uh, which is um, Kevin, I think. Mm -hmm. Yes, Kevin. And uh, originally, when I, when I assigned it, it assigned somebody who was living like over here or something. So what I did was um, had a look in this house, right? And they were all they were all farmers. There were four farmers living here, working on here. Um, so what I did was I unassigned a farmer who was in this house, which was Kevin, right? And then I walked Kevin. I like possessed him, walked him into this field, and then assigned um, a, a, a gardener. And it assigns it assigned Kevin, and Kevin lives in this house, right? So when when he needs to like eat or get warm or whatever, he literally just walks in here, eats, and he's then he's back into the field and working. So I think I can actually run this field with one guy. Um, he is uneducated, unfortunately, Kevin. Mm -hmm. um, but if like eventually we're going to get to the point where everybody's educated, and then oh my god. <laughs> The productivity is going to be through the roof. Um, but -ba -ba um, I can leave this running. Uh, do -do 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 -do. So, what? Like, okay. Um, we have got. I mean, we're at the big. We're getting the beginning of spring. We've we've got like ten thousand food, which is crazy. In fact, we're getting to the point in this barn. I mean, we're half full, and it's it's mainly vegetables. Like we've actually got. <coughs> I can't believe it. I know, I'm coughing. Uh, I'm really trying hard not to cough right now. Uh, we've got like, we've got like too many vegetables. I mean, can you believe that? Our fruit actually lasted all through the winter. Fish is starting to come up again. Now I've got these three fishermen going. Um, look at the tools. 33 tools, 50 clothing, right? And that's just with one, one guy. And I, you know what? I don't even know if it, I, I, I'm assuming because the tools have come up so much, he must be educated. He must be. So hello. Mm. No. And that's with an uneducated worker. Oh, my Lord. So, yeah. Um, I mean, productivity. All the things put together have just like, like made a massive difference. Anyway, let's get back to our crisis. So, we've got everything we need now over here. So, all we need to do is just build this. So, should we get it built? Let's assign boom, 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 five workers. Uh, so what have I got? Oh, let's just have a quick look at this. So I've got one garden. I've got all my um, all my farmers. We're growing the same as last year. So we've got oats in there, flax, grass, and then a couple of lots of potatoes down here to feed the people down here. And oh, there's our sick person. There's Lauren. Aww. She's doing a bit of gathering. Good old Lauren. And uh, anything else worth noting? No, not really. I've got I've got two people in the clay mine because. We're kind of low on clay. I got two people in uh, mining ore because obviously we need to keep the uh, the smelter supplied. Um, okay, right. So let's um, let's get on and get this thing built. Now there's all oh, there's workers workers out there already starting to starting to get on with it, but we want to accelerate the process. So let's go down here. Who should we have? We've got another Armani and an Addison. Ah, oh. are they are they educated yet? Yes, Addison's educated. She's going to carry some food to the house. What about Armani? What are you doing? Mm? Oh, you're not educated yet, Armani. Uh, Brandon. Oh, we can use Brandon. He's educated. Oh, he's just having something to eat. We'll let him have something to eat. And then we'll take him up there and we'll finish that building off. Right, so he's finished eating. Alrighty. Let's have a little bit of a horn too. And, oh my god. It's so fast moving around when you get that going. Oops, I'm stuck in the field. Uh, oh, here we are. This is a, this is the crossroads in the centre of town. In case you were kind of lost, uh, so we'll go up here, and here's the building project. So let's join in and keep to. Now there's quite a lot of build in this. In fact, there's a in fact pause. There's a lot of build in this. It's like 60 build to get this built. It's it's crazy, crazy amount of building. Yeah. But um, I think a combination of like five builders and us and tooting the horn should actually get this built like pretty quickly with a bit of luck. And then I'm gonna have to. Um, I've, I've been putting one or two roads in around the place, just just little bits. 
I'll show, I'll show you after we've got this built. Um, little bits of little bits of road around the place, but we need a lot more because there's. And I'm spotting, I'm spotting like places where there's like something in the way. Um, so there's still going to be some little bits of moving stuff around. There's, um, I've already spotted one house that I want to move. I, it, like it only needs to move like one tile, but it needs to happen because we. I'm, I'm becoming obsessed with this village. I really am. I'm so invested in it now. So we'll have a, we'll have a, a couple of quick bashes. There's always more people turning up to do some work. Oh, look. Yeah. The boys are showing up in force now. Oh, I think we'll have finished the foundation. Pretty quickly. Are you, getting, are you going to get the foundation completed? We must be close now. Yeah, there we go. Right, so, uh, pause for a second. How, how, how much is that? Yeah, so we've already done 10 of 60. Now, I'm not going to bore you by, well, no, I don't think I'm going to bore you by doing like, the whole thing, but we'll, we'll, do, uh, we'll, do, we'll do a bit more. Uh, what can I talk to you about while I'm doing a bit more? Um, stone. Stone is like, stone's like gold in this game. I've got to figure out a way to produce like tons and tons and tons of stone. I'll tell you now, as soon as, um, as soon as I finish this, I'm going to assign some guys to the stone mines and I'm going to be keeping people in the stone mines um, because like, I mean, four stone for one tile of paved road and, and I want like the whole village like with paved roads because it, it's quite a boost to performance. Um, I've got houses that I want to move around and I want to plan out like a new village. I mean, there's still stuff to do to this village. I mean, there's, there's decorations and all that kind of stuff that I want to do. But mainly it's mainly it's like the paving. I've got to do the, um, I've got to redo the fencing. And I've kind of decided, I'll show you in a sec. Um, I've kind of decided where the, the boundaries of this village are going to be. And I need to put in some more, uh, some more foresters and stuff like that. Oh, now that's a good point. I've actually reduced the foresters from, um, from having two foresters in a forest node, to to just one, because they were over, overcutting. Um, be because I'm playing in first mo person mode all the time and tooting the horn, they're they're just going crazy cutting down trees. Um, so. Uh, let me show you. Let me show you that because it's it's kind of crazy, crazy. Um, if we if we just go, where, where's the road? The road's up here. If we just go up to here. Can you see? And now it's it's starting to grow back a little bit. But this was this was virtually bare. Now bear in mind we're in the midst. I mean this this area should be like this. You know, should be nice and dense. But it's it's kind of almost bald <laughs> because um because with two foresters here they were just they were just like uh, max performance they were just cutting everything down so so yeah i've um i've reduced that to one guy in there and the same over here look great big bald spot because they've been chopping it down and like i said I, i've reduced it so it's starting to grow back now it was com like com just com completely empty of trees so um so yeah but that means that i think we're gonna have to get another couple of foresters out here so I'm gonna be working on that and I'm, I'm gonna put I think I'm yeah, well, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a, um, a fence that goes across here and, and carries on across here these guys I think are gonna get moved to the other side of the fence so we're gonna have like kind of a row of these camps going like across here and across here um, to um, to feed the the village as it grows because we're gonna we're gonna extend out here and out into this corner and then then what I want to do is put this bridge in and I want to try having a, a like a big town over here now whether that will work or not I don't know whether whether like laborers will start dying walking up and down that road or whatever I don't know but that means that like, like this road definitely has to be stone all the way along that's a lot of stone I mean, seriously. I mean, this is probably what? 150 tiles? Something like that? Let's have a look. So, 
right to there. Oh no, 200. 200, so 200 times 4. That's 800 stone just to pave that road. It's crazy. So, yeah, lot to do. Lot to do. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's get back to it. Oh, so we've got, we've got that built now. Let's have a look. How are we doing? Oh, almost halfway there. I think at this point, um, you know what? Let's... Um, uh, why don't you have another toot on your horn? And then... And then we'll kind of just let this get built. So let's um, let's speed it up. Here we go. A fast speed shouldn't take that long with a bit of luck. But it's it's kind of surprising that the efficiency is so much improved when you when you're playing in first person mode. You get almost as much done. Playing in, in, in first person mode. Oh, you know what? Mm -hmm. You could kill that fox. Because we don't want him in amongst our chickens. So, yeah, kill him. Yeah, run him through with your sword. Ah! I didn't go back to that. Um, you get you get such an imp uh, a performance improvement that you get almost as much done playing in first person mode and tooting the horn and all that kind of stuff as you do playing like on five times speed. Look, I don't think this is getting done that much faster than when we were we were playing in first person mode. So yeah, it's kind of a big deal. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to let this building like get built so that we can like take a look at it. Let's uh, some another toot on your horn. Go. Um, the thing the thing is, I do want to kind of show you stuff getting built because the the buildings as they get built, are so cool. So I do want to kind of show you that stuff. Look, everything, everything is just going great guns. I mean, we've got loads of cast iron. We've got loads of tools, loads of clothes. Even the flower is coming up. I actually switched the... We had two uneducated people uh, for millers. And I switched them to be educated. So, let's mm -hmm. see. We've now got Kinsley. Good old Kinsley. I used Kinsley... Like quite a lot for loads of building work when, when she was a teenager. And who's Aww. the other one? And Jean. And they're both educated. And now this seems to be producing a fair bit more flour. So that's a good thing. How are we doing over here? Look, see how much longer it takes. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna grab I'm gonna grab somebody. We'll just we'll just finish that off quickly. So let the game run. So who are we gonna have? Um, Addison, are you? Yeah, you're educated. Carrying food to the house. Oh, you went you went to that barn. You went to that barn to get food. For this house. So that barn is closer than that one. Really? Okay, that's kind of crazy. Okay, Addison, let's um, let's go build some stuff. Do 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 do. do. Took your horn. Right, that whiz up to the main crossroads. <clears throat> this is the main crossroads just here. And then along here and up the side of the bakery. And here's there. Right, let's get building. With us and the five uh, and the five builders. Well, you can see. I, I mean, and then it is kind of crazy that you can get like as much done in real time as you can on five times speed. Or like pretty much. It's... It's insane. But that, that kind of shows you why the productivity has gone so high. And it, it is a combination of factors. It's like like lots of things all together. I can't wait to get like loads of stone and pave all the roads. Because then, oh my god! People are going to be whizzing around the place so quick, getting so much done. And then we can build all the, like, the cool, big buildings. I really want to get, like, a, a, a tavern built and... Um, oh, you should see the size of the hostel. It's kind of the equivalent of the banished boarding house, but it doesn't really work like the banished boarding house. Um, I mean, it's supposed to be temporary accommodation, so, like, if you... Let's say you, you, you knock down a house right, or you're upgrading a house, they should move into the temporary accommodation. The problem is they don't. Uh, they move in there. The problem is they never move out. 
and it's supposed to have a, a really low pregnancy chance. Um, uh, but they still have loads of kids. So you just end up with your village grows and a load of people live there. Um, and they don't move out. Oh, we've done it. See how quick it is? That's, it's insane how quick it is. Look at this. This is a big building. This is a big building. So, um, we obviously want some some roads around here. So, do it do, do. And this is how we're doing around. So, we want, um, let's see. So, we want a road right in front of the steps. And then, now, we're obviously going to have a road going down here. Which will meet up with this road here. So, that's going to hook up like that. But, like... You, you know when, like, if you've got a patch of grass, like, like, let's say you've got a patch of grass like this. And you know how, like, it, let's say you've got a, a road that goes down there and a road that goes down there. But if people want to go from there to there, they'll just, like, walk across the grass. And over time, it wears a path. You'll get, like, a bald patch of grass. And, and those lines are called desire lines. Isn't that cool? Bit of trivia for you. Desire lines. Because that's, like, where people kind of want to walk. So, um, so yeah, so I, I'm kind of putting in some... So, for example, people are going to cut this corner, right? They just are. Now, I can't, I can't do it on that side because the building's there, right? But on this side, I can. So, I could, uh, I could put a bit of a... Put a bit of a... Oh, I can't do it there, but I can do it there. So, I can have a bit of a desire line cutting this corner. I did it over here earlier. So, for example, here, uh, we've got this path coming in from the forest. Um, but people coming out of this house, they don't, they don't want to walk up to that corner and then along there. They're going to cut the corner. So I put in the, I put in the desire lines. But if you look at all the, all the paths we've got to put in, it's massive, massive, massive amounts of stone. Um, and I need to put like, like roads around all this stuff and whatever. Now, these, um, these, can you see the water is coming up here? Because this, this structure was already built. So when I terraformed this, this didn't, didn't go up. So what I'm going to have to do is in the winter, when these fields aren't being used, is knock them down, uh, level the terrain, and then rebuild them. Uh, and I will do that. I will do that at some point. Alrighty. So now um, it's all about building up resources so we can get this thing built. Although, actually, look at this. 132 stone, 130. What do we need for this? Oh, we need like 390 stone. So yeah, um, I'm going to kind of get on with that. Oh, b before we go, before we go, let's um, oops, let's uh, let's let's run it and see. Does Lauren go to the go to the hospital now? Where the hell is Lauren? Now Lauren is a gatherer. So if I search mm. through my gatherers, there's Efrin, mm. Mikhail. There's Lauren. What? She's cured? What already? How do? Okay, is she is she cured? Or can I just not see that? No, 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 she's not cured. Mm. She's not cured. So we need to assign a healer, don't we? Yeah, now where the hell's healer? Um, that would be here. There, there we go. So let's assign a healer. Right, we've got healer. Look at all the herbs we've got. Wow. So the question is, let's, let's follow Lauren. Let's see if Lauren now actually goes. Oh, look at her going and gathering. Getting a bag full of herb, uh, a bag full of vegetables. Now imagine if this road was uh, was was paved, she'd be moving like twenty percent faster, which would make quite a difference. There we go. Oh, now she's being treated. She's going to the hospital. Who freaking right? Now, when she goes into the hospital, maybe. Oh, there's another sick person in there. Right. So you'll be. Let me pause it. So who's uh -huh. this? Lydia, as well. But it doesn't tell me, doesn't tell me what disease they've got. How can I, how, how can I find out what disease they've got? Mm. They're just being treated. She's thinking of pie. If, well, if I was stuck in this depressing place, I think I'd be thinking of oh. pie. Yep, yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't oh. tell me what disease they've got. Maybe one of you guys can tell me how I can find out. Like, what, what the hell's wrong with them? What are you? You're, um... Oh, you're one of our lumberjacks. Okay, that's not good, because that's going to cut down our, our lumber production. But look at this. We're, we're into late spring, so we've gone through the winter, we, and we ended up with, uh, like, over 500 firewood. So that is really good. 
Oh, they're getting some of those roads built that I wanted. So you're just going to loiter around in here for God knows how long. Uh -huh. Waiting to be treated. Uh -huh. Where the hell's our doctor? Oops, no, I don't want two doctors. I want one doctor. Mm -hmm. Where's our doctor? Oh, Riffin. Riffin's the doctor. Pause. Do, 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 do. Oh, he's getting, oh, he's getting some herbs. Let's, let's see what he does. Because I, I haven't seen this. So, he gets some herbs. Goes in here. What, just dumps them in there. Then he's going to go and get some more, I guess. You get some more? Yep, he's getting some more. Do, 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 do. Oh, he doesn't know where he's going. See, this is like when you're following people and whatever, you see what's going on. Oh, now he's healing. Cool. Who are you healing? And is it going to take. Like, I'm guessing each one of these little healings maybe uses a, a herb. Because like, you, you have to give them like a certain amount of herbs. Medicaments, it's they're called in the code. Okay, now he's going to go and carry some uh -huh. food to his house. So you're being treated, but it doesn't give you like any like progress uh -huh. or whatever. And why doesn't it tell me what the hell disease they've got? It should tell you whether they've got like rabies or plague or what the hell's wrong with them. Okay, anyway, that's enough of that. I'm going to get on. I'm going to get a, a stack of resources and kind of plan out what I'm going to do next. Uh, we've got, let's see, we've got nine, look at this, nine children ready to come through as teenagers. So that's all working. Um, this is, look, see this well here? That well is basically in a really lousy place because it's it's not blocking people work, walking through here, but they kind of get a little bit stuck. And also, this scarecrow actually does block this completely. So I think that scarecrow needs to be moved as well. So the, the problem is there's no room for a road through here. So I think what would be cool would be to maybe move the scarecrow like over here or something like somewhere over here, uh, move the well like at least over one so that we can get a road going down here because it'll re it will speed people up. There's a lot of people walk through here, um, but it's kind of rubbish at the moment. So yeah, loads, loads of improvement, and it's all about the details. It's all about the details in this game. All right, guys. So uh, let me get on with it, and we'll come back when I've uh, when I've actually achieved something. Okay, guys, I had to show you this. Um, I've learned how to herd animals. Look, I've got this... I've managed to collect this huge herd of, uh, of stags and mooses. And I've probably got some, uh, some chickens being killed at the moment. Uh, let's pause. Let's, let's go and have a look. But look. Look at the animals that I've collected. Look at that. And what I've done, li literally, I, I kind of waited until there was a, a, like a, like a bunch of animals kind of in this area. And then you go to the far side of them and you start tooting your horn and like kill, I don't know, kill bears or foxes or wolves or something. And the animals move away from you, right? And so what I'm doing is herding them from this area, like into, into this area. And you, it's like you act like a sheepdog and you just like kind of chase them up here. Look, look at this. That is a lot of meat. I mean, you think you get, um, you get like 20, 20 or so meat from each of these. So this is like, what's this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So you're talking over 400 meat. It's about five, we're yeah, close to 500 meat there. Oh, there's one there. So I can use him now to kind of herd these guys. So, uh, now what was that? Um, oh, the bit saying the building is almost full. Can you believe that? Look at this. We've got 14,000 vegetables. It's crazy. Crazy. In actual fact, uh, uh, is there anything I want to... Uh, these guys, yeah, these guys, these guys are already done. I've taken them off. It's just uh, these two guys. That I've, I think it's these two. Yeah, he managed to get a second crop in. And same with this guy. But I've told them to just collect. So just get those just get those gathered. Those are the only two farmers that we've got on. Um, and, and it's only fall. I mean, <laughs> it's just going brilliantly. But I, I just had to show you this. Because it's incredible. 
And it, it saves you so much work walking for your, for your villages. You just herd a bunch of these mooses and stags up close to the village. I mean, this is probably close enough now. We can probably start killing them, but we'll see what we can do to try and encourage them maybe, maybe a touch closer. So this stag over here, um, he's kind of going in the right direction though. But we'll have a, another horn toot. And so we'll kill him. And come down here. See, some of them are trying to trying to get away. If you get a, a stray like this, kill him. And the thing is, as they get closer to the to the village, they they will try and turn around and uh, and move away from the village. So, but once you've got them like this close, it's awesome. Oh, one sneak by. Kill him. Cha ching And I think at this point I'll probably go into bow mode and just mow him down. Yep. <laughs> and it's just staggering amounts of meat and you can barely miss at this range. Whoops. <laughs> Shouldn't have said that, should I? Let's see if I can hurt him off a bit. Oh, come on. Don't let him get past. Don't let him get past. Stab, stab, stab. And kill you. Ooh, come on. I've almost got my bow back. It'd be a lot quicker to kill him. Whoops. No, try that one. There we go. There we go. This would be better. And you and... Oh, come on. <laughs> that is just a staggering amount of meat. Oh. One's getting away. Not for very long, though. So yeah, now now the remains have got, like, like... Trying to go back away from where the killing is. But they'll go a certain distance and then they'll be like, oh, we're, we're kind of getting away from the forest. And then uh, and then they'll try and back away again. But see, they're, they're constantly moving away from where the killing's happening. Oh, this is freaking sweet. Wow. Okay, well, and I'll even kill you. Um... Let's get out of you. Oh, a tornado and a chicken attack. So where's the where's the chicken? Where's the chicken killer? Uh, or was that the one I dealt with before? Where's the Do you see a fox or a wolf in there? Because I don't. Maybe that was the one I dealt with before. It must have been. Because there's 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 no fox or wolf in there. Okay. Where's the tornado? Oh, I'll show you that in a minute. I've been I've been working hard. I've been doing a lot of terraforming. Um, let's set it going. Let's just have a. Where's the old tornado? I don't see it. Mind you. Oh, like it could be right next to me. I wouldn't see it. Oh, here we go. The sun's coming up. Now we might be able to see it. Where the hell is it? Well, uh, okay, I'm times five. Let's slow it down a bit. Did it, did it, did it, did it, did it, No, I don't see the tornado anywhere close. It must have been kind of a ways out. Maybe out at sea. Right, so, um, I, well, I guess I'll show you this now. So, I've been doing some terraforming. Oh, yeah. Now, this area over here, um, the, the coastline, I, I've kind of stuck to the original coastline. It, the, the original coastline came um, kind of up like this and run here but this area here was kind of swampy um like a fair amount of it was actually underwater so um i just leveled it up i've created these two little piers guess what's going to go there yep a couple of fishermen and we are going to have a big extension to the village over here so our fence where's our fence our fence which is there currently it's got to it's got to come out a bit 
of this entrance. But I'm going to bring it like back in again, I think. And then that fence will come across, like, well, I think pretty much straight across here. And then I'll have, um, I'll have some hunters and gatherers and foresters out in, in, in this area, out here. So, yeah, that's going really well. Um, now, I'm not quite there. I'm, you know, I'm almost there. What are we up to? Uh, pause. Uh, da -da 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 -da. These guys are bringing in the meat. How's the meat? Oh, yes, the meat. <laughs> the meat's going up, like, pretty rapidly. Oh, there's a boar there. Mm -hmm. Sean, kill the boar. Um, what should we kill it with? Yeah, let's speed people up and we'll do a bit of stabbing. There we go. Running through. <laughs> and there's some more meat. Okay. Yeah, so... My meat was getting a bit low. Uh, don't think it's going to be too low now. I think this is going to get up to um, around the four, 500 level. Okay, um, so yeah, uh, I've got 385 stone, which is enough. It's enough to get this build, this building built. Uh, I need 140 ore, so I do need a bit more ore. Uh, we've certainly got enough hay. Ooh, I think we're almost able to get this going. Let me get a bit more ore coming in, and then uh, and then we'll get this built, and we'll see. We'll see what what's going to happen next. We'll, I think we'll maybe lay this out. Let's, we'll, let's, uh, let me get the stuff going, and we'll, we'll come back to it. Okay, everything has been delivered to the docks. We've got everything. We just need to build it. So, or the port, I should say. So, uh, so let's get it built. Let's assign. Uh, let's say one, two, three, four, five, six builders. Six builders assigned. Let's crank it up. Oh, <laughs> here we go. Oh, I love seeing these buildings built. Now that is a big foundation. This is a very big building. It's one of the reasons I want to replace these two houses over here. Oh, chicken died in an animal attack. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. Oh, got two wolves around here. Okay, J-Mart. We haven't seen J-Mart for a while, have we? Uh, so, kill that one. And then we'll kill this guy. Boom. Bye-bye. Now, uh, one thing that you can do to speed things up. Um, hides. You can carry... Um, how many hides can you carry? I can't remember now. I think it's like eight. Is it eight? No, 11. You can carry 11 hides. But animals only drop like one, two... Between one and four. Um, if you go and... Like, the, your villagers will pick up like one and that's it. Right. Whereas you can pick up like several at a time. And what you can do, like, where's that bear gone? Where the hell's that bear gone? Did he just, has he walked into one of the houses? He sneaked into the bakery or something. No, he's not in the bakery. Where is he then? Has he gone into this house? I mean, there's a great big bear right here. Oh, there he is. <laughs> he's in that house there. He's probably stealing food. Um, the thing is, you can't kill an animal while you're carrying stuff. Uh, except with the... Can you, yeah, except with the bow. So, kill it with the bow. Right, and then... Pick, take the horn. Pick up the resources. And you can save, like, several villager trips by collecting up the hides yourself and, like, taking them all back in one go. And then just drop them into the storage. Da -dum, done. So, there you go. We'll have one quick more. Yeah, come on, come on. I'm gonna take the horn and then get back to it. And there you go. Right, you can get back to work. Oh, look at this! It's half built. It's half built. Oh, what? And <laughs> seriously? There's another bloomin' wolf in there. Okay. Well, we use. Uh... Mm -hmm. Actually, uh, we need. Because I've just tooted the horn. I'm gonna have to go around there and kill it manually. So, I want somebody up this end. Uh -huh. uh, oh, Zerma, she's a baker. I don't yeah. want to disturb her. I'll tell you I'll tell you why. Oh, no, no, no. I didn't tooted the horn. Okay, so. Let's kill you. Boom. Goodbye, Wolfie. The, the animal attacks are a pain. I really should build uh, a hunter. Mind you, even if you have hunters, you, you can still get animals sneak in. Look at that. That is huge and awesome. 
Man, how many? Two, three, four. Four story building. Whoa, our little, our little village isn't a little, isn't so little anymore. Right, now that that's built, build a ship to send an ex on an expedition. Then collect provisions for the journey. So the first thing we have to do is build a ship. Right, so let's get a ship built. Start construction of a ship for an expedition. So we need uh, 20 hides, 200 lumber. We've got those. We need 100 flax. We've got that. And we need 40 uh, cast iron. We've got that. So, yeah, do, 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 do. oh, and there's um, the six building work. So, boom, build it, go. And run it on 10 times speed. They should, oh, I can see them running down with the lumber. Here they come. Here's the lumber being delivered. Now, we've got six workers in the port. Oh, what? Seriously? Another freaking animal attack? What is it this time? There's a fox in there now. We've got a boar over there. Mm -hmm. Let's you. What are you carrying? Oh, you're carrying water. Well, let's grab your bow and... Boom, dead wolf. Boom, bye-bye. And then we'll go over here and we'll kill this boar. Boom. All right. Get out of here. I should have tooted his horn, but it'll be fine. Oh, I can't wait to see this ship. This is going to be sweet. So we've already got all the lumber. We've already got the flags. We've got the hides. We've got the cast iron. So now, oh, look. <laughs> They're building a ship. I haven't seen this before, so this is all new to me. Oh, I love it. Oh, would you look at that. How freaking sweet is that? You know what? I'm, you know what? I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to... I've got to get... Oh, I was going to get a screenshot. It's going dark. I want to see it at night time. Oh, come on. The sun comes up pretty quickly. Um, um, I'll tell you what I can do, though. If I, um, if I turn the UI back on. Uh, now, let's see. Select the goal, then begin the expedition. You can only select one goal. Now, so you can either find new fruits, new crops, or new animals. We're going to go for animals, definitely. Now, you need, uh, for the journey, we need provisions. We need 40 lumber. We need 20 fish pies, 20 meat pies, and 20 vegetable pies. And that's why I've got these locked up here. And that's why I changed um, the meat pie maker to making fish pies for a while. So that we've got some fish pies. <laughs> oh, yes. Um, what else do you need? Uh, you need some tools and some clothes and some water. Oh, water. Now, that's a good point. Now, will they go and grab the water from a well? I'm assuming they will. And we've got a well right there. Well, let's, well, let's see. Let's let it run. Let's see. Do um, do the port workers... Oh, oh come on. Really? Hmm. What is with all the blooming animal attacks? I don't normally get this many. That's, uh, oh, I shouldn't have done that because I wanted to use the bow. Never mind. Uh, come on, go. We'll have to do this the old-fashioned way. Where's the fox? Oh, quick, quick, before he has another one. Oh, there you go. Stab him through the neck. Good job. Are there any more coming around? Blooming chicken thieves. Get out of there. So, let's see. So, um... We haven't got any water. So, so, hang on a second. So, do we have to bring the water? Or is it... Is it where does it tell you, like, how much? Huh. Weird. Um, I, I really need to get some more houses built, because we've run out of babies. <laughs> we need more babies. We actually had nine kids in school at one time. So... Do, like, do I have to go and get the water? Like, oh, I have, to, I have to click on this idiot. There we go. Now they'll go and get it. What a bonehead! Here they come. Oh, and they're grabbing the water first. They're going to the well. And there you go, fifty water. My God, that didn't take long. Food reserves are low. I uh, don't think they are. We've got eleven thousand vegetables. Mind you, we've blasted through that. We had a thousand meat in there not long ago. Mind you, I'm running on times ten. Um, oh my, we're already into spring. My God. 
run it on I forgot when you run it on times 10 how fast everything goes. Uh, I've got to reassign everybody. So, I, you know, I have considered not growing vegetables in here this year because we've got so many. So actually, no, I'm not. I'll put the uh, I'll put the guys back into the orchard. I'll put our gatherers back on. So I'm not going to have those guys in there. Do, 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 do. What we want, yeah, we want oats. We want, um, you know what? Look at this. We've got a thousand herbs. You know what? Let's take our herbalist off because it's ridiculous. <laughs> oh, that I didn't tell you. Those um, those two people who were in here, right? Um, I went back to have a look. Like, I don't know. Like, we looked at them in the spring. I think we got them into into the hospital. Uh, and I had a look in like early summer, and they're gone. They were already healed. I thought they'd take ages to heal, but they didn't. They were gone already. So, um, what the hell am I doing? Uh, I've completely forgotten. Oh, yeah, I was assigning the farmers, wasn't I? Um, bum, 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 bum. Wheat. How are we doing for wheat? Mm. We could probably do with a wheat crop. We could do with a wheat crop. We've got loads of hay. So, um, yeah, we'll keep doing oats. We'll keep doing flax. Yeah, I could do with a bit more flax. Um, but instead of grass, because we've got loads... We'll do, what did I say? Uh, wheat. Yeah, we'll have a wheat crop this year. Uh, and then, am I still going to do the vegetables down here? Uh, no, I don't. I, uh, no, I don't think I am. I don't think I am. I mean, 11,000 vegetables. Yeah, let's eat into our vegetable supplies a bit. So, no, we're like zero and zero. We're not growing any vegetables. We will get vegetables in because of our gatherers. Who, uh, who do a fairly good job. Right, so, uh, did, 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 did anybody else I want to assign? I've got my six fishermen. I don't need my six builders now, do I? Because everything's built. Oh, yeah, no. Now, why is that telling me I need six builders? Or is that the six builders in here? Yeah, that's the six builders in there. So I guess we do need the builders to build it. Okay, fair enough. Uh, did, 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 did. Uh, oh, I was going to get a screenshot, wasn't I? Let me get, let me grab a screenshot of this before we send the ship off. Uh, so, what do I want to do? I want to uh, I want to turn the UI off. I want to get in a nice position for it. Like I don't know. Like I want to be able to see the sails a little bit. Something like something like that. What do you think? Bit 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 that way. Yeah, that'll do. Right, and uh, there we go. Take a screenshot. Good. Okay, <laughs> so let's let them get it built now. Here we go. Now, I don't suppose there's any, like, special... No, it just disappears. Time of expedition completion is winter next year. Oh, so we've got to wait a whole year for that blooming ship to come back. Really? Oh, man. Okay, pause. Um, ba -dum -bum -bum. What shall we do next? How about, you know what, how about we do a bit of uh, a bit of town planning, maybe. Now, I want, you know, let's, do, let's do this, because I'm going to go and build those houses, but that's kind of less important. So what do we want? We want, do, 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 do. we're going to put some fishermen in down here. So this is where we're going to start. So, flip, uh, now, uh, let's, uh, let's just have it lined up, I think. I don't think, I don't think we want any fancy angles. Right, you will go there. Now, I, I could extend this out a bit further. I mean, I could extend it out to, like, there. Um, nah, nah, it's fine there. It doesn't need to be, like, way out. Um, the, somebody asked me a question about the way, the way that this works. Like, if there's more circumference, will you get more fish? Uh, my understanding of how it works is the, the radius just gives you access to the fish. Um, you don't get more. It's just that... You know, there can be more available to be fished. But it doesn't actually make you um, produce more fish. So we'll have uh, we'll have one over there. Uh, we'll have one over here. So let's flip you around that way. And pop you on. Now, can I get you Can I get you to go on? Yep, there. Ooh, there. I want it to look nice. And I spent quite a bit of time... Like, like smoothing everything down because otherwise you get like kind of, kind of like sharp edges everywhere. So I spent quite a bit of time smoothing this down so it would look like as natural as I could get it without going crazy. Okay, so so that's the that's the doorstep there. So what I'd like to do 
is now I see I'd like to put the roads in but they'll go and build the roads and there's no way to kind of put the roads on hold uh, did it, did it, did it. Now, I do want to extend this road, for sure. So, this is going to be kind of the main road out of the village. Did it, did it, did it. Uh, how much stone have I got left? I've got 275 stone. Um, do I extend this this way? Oh, that's a good question. Now, I need, like, at least 40 stone for houses, and probably more. So I don't want to spend more than, say... Well, you know what? If I do up to there, then that will speed up the, the farmers a bit. And the orchard guys. So let's, let's do that in stone. And then we'll do the rest of it as a dirt road. So, so then we have a dirt road coming straight out to, say, there. Okay, now. We're going to have a little bit of road in front of your doorstep like that and we'll do the same over here where's your doorstep there i'll probably just have two in front of that one yeah and then we'll bring that out up now do i kind of yeah if i if i bring that out to say the, there and then run that straight down into there Okay, so that gives me that. Oh, I've got to, I've got to figure out where to put houses, where to put barns and stuff. Now I'm I'm kind of wondering, do I just have put a barn kind of in the middle here, right? And so these guys have got to walk up here, or do I put in two separate barns? It's a very good question. And if I was to put in two separate barns, where are we? Storage. So if I was going to put in two storage, two separate barns. Then I'd want them as close as possible. So, like, if I was going to put in... I'd want the barn, like, like right there, wouldn't I, really? Um, I suppose I could put it, like, there. Or maybe flip it around on its side and put it, put it like, there. Um, I've got to say, that's kind of sort of tempting. I might, I might just do that, yeah. So I'm going to have a barn there. Now, this one, a bit more challenging. Oh, wow. Oh, no. Oh, misses. Um, <laughs> channeling my Frankie Howard. Uh, did, yeah, where do, now, where do we put this? Or do we put it on this side? We've got that one on that side. I think maybe this one goes like on this side. But So I don't want to eat into this particularly. Unless I extended it a little bit, which I could do. Yeah, shall I, ex uh, shall I extend it a little bit? I don't know. What, like, is it, see, if I if I popped it in there, maybe. Now, the question is, like, do I turn it around and have it facing the fisherman, or do I have it this way? I think that I think that way. If I plop that in, that will raise that terrain anyway. So I think I think that's what we'll do. I think we'll just uh, yeah, I can bring it in a little bit. Let's pop that in there then. Uh, do I bring it down one? No. It goes there. Ching. I, I know I'm I'm faffing around, but like placing the buildings. I mean, for me, is is kind of important. And I've kind of discovered from over here, if you don't put them in like exactly the right place, you'll regret it. You will regret it. So then we need uh, houses over here. So we're going to have uh, like a couple of houses. Um, we want to flip this baby now. Now, I could have this stuff at an angle. There's no reason that I have to have it like this, because I could just, like, kind of rotate it to any angle that I want, which is, I've got to say, kind of a tempting idea. So, but I don't know. I, I think I think maybe just pop this guy in there, not faff around too much. So, yeah, I think, well, that one will go in there, and then this guy... We'll go over here, flip you around. Yeah, you're going to go in. I might set you back one. Uh, I might put you. I might put you there. Yeah, put you there. I'm, I'm just wondering whether I should set that one back one. 
so it's not so crowded. I don't like it being crowded. No, I'm, I'm going to do that. I'm going to set this one back a little bit. So let's get rid of you. And house goes flipped around. Take it back one. And there. That's where I want the puppy to go. So there we go. And then we'll have just, just the last finishing touch will be um, then a bit of road there. And same over here. A little bit of road. Oh, yeah, we'll do a three bit for you. All right, cool. Awesome source. So there we go. Um, now, obviously, we're not going to get get this stuff built because it's the end of the episode. So um, I will kind of figure out how I'm going to hook these roads up. Am I going to have a diagonal road going in here or something and start planning out what I'm going to do next? And I will probably... What I may do, I may put a couple of houses over here, get them built, and maybe move... Uh, move these two houses. I've demolished these and put them over there or something. I don't know. I'm not quite sure. But you know what? I'll tell you what I do when we come back for the next episode. I will catch for that. Hope you enjoyed this. Count or I can't wait to see what we get. Is it going to be sheep? Is it going to be cows? Is it going to be pigs? You'll have to come back for the next episode and find out. I'll catch for that. Peace out.